Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Now, in, uh, after spending that last part and just sort of wandering around and accomplishing nothing, I'm actually going to do stuff. Hooray! One Tarzan's with him. So yeah, this world actually has a, a little mini game where you can slide down a tree with Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool off the, at the start, but it's actually really bland. <laughs> so, like, you can't fall off the edge. You can't? Uh, nope. Uh, if you can get hit by branches, like I just jumped over some branches there, but you it won't like kill you or knock you off or anything like that. It just does a tiny bit of damage. <laughs> See, like, it barely does anything. You can, you can break them with your keyblade, but there's really not much point. <laughs> and like it's pretty much just a straight path. And once you get to here, it just becomes automated pretty much. This whole world seems kind of like not much going on yet. <laughs> at least at the beginning. Well, there's still a lot more areas to explore. Like this is a lot more interesting of an area. Yeah, here there's actually a lot of interactive stuff, like, well, there's all these, like, things you can just look at, like, all these weird science things. But also there's a little mini quest thing where you can find research notes that will let you create items, and basically you go to that furnace thing over there and make an item. That's cool. And also there's these slides that are lying around, you have to click all of them. Mmm, recipes to make food. Or potions, as this case is. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really look like a lion anymore, Tarzan. <laughs> it's the same picture, though. You no, know, the picture looks like it, but him in real life. Oh. I was hoping he'd come out and look like a lion. Would explain how he scared that saber thing away. Yes. Yeah, the only one thing that can overpower a cheetah, lion, whatever that thing <laughs> Tiger, is. Tiger, leopard, something. Hobbs. <laughs> Yeah, there's five slides, I believe. Um, you do need all of them to progress the plot, so just go and collect them all right off the bat. The descending random room. little um, trivia thing here. There's a reference to Beauty and the Beast. These things. <laughs> That's weird. I guess there's, there's no Beauty and the Beast world in this game. This uh, not until the second game that, that shows up. Which game is this game? Hmm. Which game is this game? First one. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> You're an expert, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've played these, like, at least... never. <laughs> at least you're honest. <laughs> looks so nice and tropical here. I can just go and lay in that patch of grass there. Look at the trees. They're just, like, one giant hedge. <laughs> well, they just had limitations at the time. <laughs> It reminds me of some like Spongebob episode where they w landed in the forest and there's just a wall of tree and you could just go in and suddenly it's a deep dark forest. I always like that. That's how trees seem to work a lot in cartoons actually. Yeah. Just have a wall. Actually not. Yeah, just sort of a, a weird like trope they have where it'll be like, um, there'll be like uh, trees and stuff that sort of block your path forward, but there's really no reason why you can't just go around the trees and weave between them. Yeah. Like, why would it form a wall? Because <laughs> they're lazy. Are you here to study the gorillas? Or maybe they're trying to make a point. <laughs> Don't go out into the forest. <laughs> it's sponsored by the government. And then they remember that they're fighting. <laughs> Wait, they're fighting why? Because Sora took control of the gummy ship to land on this planet. <laughs> Donald didn't want to go here? Nope. Why not? Because Mickey would dare be found on a backwater planet like this. <laughs> oh yeah. This is research. Well, the more the British. Do make mm -hmm. yourselves at home. Do you make yourselves at home. <laughs> Still in the exact same pose. <laughs> well, anyway, Are that frustrated over that one stupid little thing? Yep. Uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 actually has a very like uh, Saturday morning cartoon kind of plot thing where each world has some sort of problem they have to work through which I still th kind of like better than other games where it's just like going through the movie scene by scene so this has a moral of each world yeah like in this case don't distrust each other I don't know don't fight ever don't fight <laughs> just don't fight and at this point I'm immediately dropping Tarzan why? It's, it's because you can only do trinities with um Donald and Goofy in your party. It's just always a good idea to have them with you. Um, that said, your, the party members do tend to have abilities that you don't, you can't get until later in the game. So, 
There's that, and also I'm pretty sure their healing moves always heal you to full health, which is really nice. Or that might be Kingdom Hearts 2. But yeah, anyways. So yeah, um... Well yeah, so this is part where the slides come in. You have to give all of them to... Oh, I, f I didn't... We missed her name. Uh, is it Jane? I think it was Jane, or... I'm pretty sure it was Jane. Something like Jane. That. Something British. We'll call her British Lady. Mrs. Jane, that's what we'll call her. <laughs> is this, like, way in the olden days? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be set in, like, one of those, like, Discovery Age mid-1900s time. Oh, okay. Okay, Sora's reaction to this castle thing. Very important. Very important. Remember it. Everyone. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. It looks familiar. Was that his house? Was he actually a <laughs> his ruler? His house. It's just like on his island. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to my house now. It's a giant castle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's actually the ruler of the whole like, Disney world. <laughs> that would be a good plot twist. You never do see his house. In the game. <laughs> just his room. Those are really weird pictures. I don't know why they thought that would solve any problem. Well, Tarzan? Where are my friends? Riku and Kairi? Oh yeah, I gotta say, once you find out what the word that Tarzan is saying means, it turns he's like such a major troll. <laughs> What's he saying? Uh, uh, we'll get to it at the very end. It's a, it's a, the, the whole plot point of this thing, so I'm not gonna spoil it. Alright. But we have yet to encounter these friends of yours. I wonder why Clayton doesn't hunt Don and Goofy. They are animals. He's clearly obsessed with hunting animals. Yeah, they're like... They would be do, do well in like some sort of museum thing, you know? <laughs> Frame them up. <laughs> Mount Water Wall. <laughs> yeah, keep them alive, though. I think they'd do better in something other than that. They're talking animals. <laughs> Maybe they could make food at a restaurant. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the mood for duck. <laughs> no, they cook the food. Look at Goofy's mouth, though. That just bothers me. It looks like a what? pelican's mouth. <laughs> like, you know that they got the big thing underneath their mouth? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, I like how transparent of a villain Clayton is. Just like, evil grin. I kind of wish more things had more subtle villains instead of making the person clearly the wrong person. Because, like, they're, they're so one-dimensional how they approach, like... It's like, oh, hunting animals is automatically bad, even though we need to do it in order to survive. It's Disney. They are appealing to a younger audience. They need to be simple. That's not true at all. Alright, yeah, so you can just randomly encounter some more in, in areas that have jungle. Mm. It's, it's just completely random, nothing is like funny. Or anything. And he just runs away. The best time, or the best villain, is the one that starts out as your best friend, turns out they betray you, then turns out they actually didn't betray you, they betrayed you to be good, and they're actually good, and then it turns out they really are bad. The devil betrayal. <laughs> That's a good villain. So what are you, a triple agent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I guess if you don't, if you take out the them being evil all along thing, it's still that's a really cliche plot line actually. They start off as their friend, but then turn no, out they're that's evil, why, and then they go back. That's why it goes back, and then it goes yeah. back again. But she's not a very often used plot thing. That's why it's good. Yeah, I'd like to see more of that actually. These giant bamboo walls. See, I just I think that a good villain is one that can have a feasible mo motivation. Like Clayton here, he just sort of like, oh, I want to kill the gorillas be because they're gorillas. <laughs> and ah, it's just like th there's no like rhyme or reason. There's no reason why you would side with him in this argument because he has no argument. Yeah. I like villains too that do big things but aren't too big. Like I don't want ones that take over the world, and I don't want ones that just kill a few gorillas. I like <laughs> villains that s maybe start a war, or villains that like move like two million dollars worth of drugs or something. <laughs> That's like a good size of villainy for me. Yeah, too big, and you just, you start getting into like a vague area where nothing is like it's just gets too grand. And there's no small moments. Yeah. But you get too small. It's just sort of like you can't take them seriously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I 
I also like rich villains. <laughs> and rich main characters. Just rich all around. <laughs> you and your money. Yep. Oh, poor hippo. No, they like me being used as platforms. <laughs> Scientific fact. Ah. Uh, this place is actually really annoying if you're not good at the platforming because you can't just climb up any platform here. You have to go to specific lowered ones, and the hippos are uh, it's just eh. very eh. Yeah, very meh. But yeah, pro tip: you can use the keyblade to extend your range a bit to get to jump you're not supposed to be able to. Hmm. And that's how you get on this hippo. I watched some hippos fight in the summer. <laughs> It was really entertaining. What was it like? I can't imagine. It was like a big pot of really black water so you can't see the hippos. And suddenly two heads will fly out. <laughs> you wouldn't even know the hippos were there. And they're like gnawing at each other. And suddenly they both go back down for like a minute and they come back <laughs> up again doing the same thing. That's almost as good as ninja rabbit battles. <laughs> Have you seen a rabbit fight before? It's crazy. Yes, they fly around doing uh, backflips. Yeah, and like... Like, they're actually like <laughs> literally ninjas. Yeah. yeah this, is the, this is the only bit where Tarzan actually says full lines of dialogue because he's speaking monkey, I guess. But I trust them. You see, I want to help them because, because well, they need us. I don't really... Okay, yeah... This might all seem like deep and meaningful right now, but when you find out what you're working towards at the end, it really, really isn't. Yeah, it's just, he's such a troll. He's doing all this stuff because the movie told him to. Kerchak. But it's Karach. Kerchak is his name, I guess. Yeah. I don't know these monkeys. And that's the thing, they don't introduce them. They're just sort of like, oh yeah, the monkeys. Shouldn't you know their names? Disney, right? Everyone knows that. Gorillas. Okay. Jeez. Look, turns and so on half. There's a lot of backtracking in this part, actually. Adios.